welcome back to CKTV News. I'm Dan Dealer, and I'm not entirely sure where my colleague, Sandy... Victory for the Lord's Army! Woohoo! Uh, Victory for the Lord's Army! Woohoo! Yeah! Victory for the Lord's Army! Wait for me, Lucy! We will have victory! Sorry about that, Dan. What the heck was that? Well, you see, I was just helping Lucy um, prepare and rehearse for her reenactment of the Battle of Jericho this afternoon. Right. Anyway, today's top stories are... Double comedy acts bring their house down with their hilarious jokes. What kind of key opens a banana? A monkey! <laughs> what is the strongest animal? A snail. He carries his house on his back. <laughs> and brother and sister show us their farm. Welcome to our farm. This is our sheep. This is your sheep. Have you and named it, any of them? No, they just have like we, colours I, I on their back. We oh, named I, I um, one of them Barnaby. Barnaby. We need help naming them all, don't we? Because there's a lot. One fact about sheep is that if they're on the back, you, you need to roll them over. Because they can't go. And you had to save one once, didn't you? And a cow. And a cow. Uh, once we saw an eagle and we see rabbits and deers. Wow. And we named a little <laughs> rabbit, didn't we? Wait. What did we Nibbles, name? Snibbles. Snibbles. I was almost going to say floppy. Amazing stories again! Thank you everybody for sending them in! Today we are going to be interviewing a most courageous, obedient and faith-filled Bible hero. How exciting! Yes, that's correct. This leader led the people of Israel to many victories. He, he led God's people into many victories, all the way into the prom... Who keeps making that sound? He led people into the... Into the prom... What are you doing? Ah, uh, sorry. Just wanted to get into the spirit of the episode, you know? You know, with the trumpets and stuff. Sorry, I'll get back to work. Let's go over to the Bible book now. See you after the break. Hey, City Kids. Our memory verse for this week is Ephesians 2 verse 10, and the words are, For God has made us perfect, we can go and do his works, doing all the things he planned way before we walk this land. There's more to me than what you see, I am my father's masterpiece. Ephesians 2 verse 10 says it so, I say amen. So when you're ready, on the beat, let's go. For God has made us perfect, we can go and do his works Doing all the things he planned way before we walk this land There's more to me than what you see, I am my father's masterpiece Ephesians 2 verse 10 says it so I say amen For God has made us perfect, we can go and do his works Doing all the things he planned way before we walk this land There's more to me than what you see, I am my father's masterpiece Ephesians 2 verse 10 says it so I say amen Welcome back! Today is going to be a bit different because we will both be interviewing Joshua live! How exciting! That's right. Now I think we're, I'm just hearing my producers, yes, I think the live feed is coming through all the way from the city of Jericho. Wow. Have you guessed who it might be? And here we are. Greetings, Joshua. Hey Joshua! Peace be with you. It is an honour, and I trust that you are well. Yes, we're good, thanks. Thank you. Really good, thanks. Got a new top and everything. Ah, interesting. So, Joshua, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Where do you come from, and uh, what do you do? Well, I'm Joshua, and I lead God's people. When the Lord's servant Moses died, I was appointed the new leader. See, God told me, Wherever I go and whatever I do, to always be strong and courageous, for he will be with me wherever I go. 
and I'll be victorious. See, when I was a young man, I was told to go and spy out the land with... I was told to go and spy out the land with 11 other men. But those men, they were afraid. They were timid. They were worried about all the giants in the land. They were worried about all the giants in the land. But me and my friend Caleb, we were young men, but we were full of faith and courage. We believed that we could conquer the land, and we would be victorious in God's name. See, me and my friend Caleb, we gave a good report. While they gave reports of fear, we believed and had faith. And is it true that you met a real-life angel? Yes, that is right. I met the Archangel, the commander of the Lord's armies. He was huge. He was amazing. I asked him, are you on our side? And he said, neither. I am on the Lord's side. I am commander of his army. He told me to take off my sandals. I was terrified. I got down on my knees. In fact, I got down on my face. And I took my sandals off. I obeyed everything God said. So, Joshua, what actually happened in this battle, this Jericho that you seem to be at? Uh, what's, what's gone on? And then, it was time for us to conquer the land of Jericho, which we're in right now. The land of Jericho was going to fall, but we had to obey everything that God said. We had to do it with courage and faith, and with absolute obedience. See, this was the promised land. God said that we would be victorious if we trusted in him, and we were obedient and courageous. These were the commands that he gave. We were to walk around the walls, no weapons, just walk and march. And the priest at the front played the trumpets. We marched for six days straight. And then on the seventh day, God said, march around seven more times. And when we did afterwards, we let out a great shout of victory. And then the walls came crashing down. And here we are now in the battle we are being victorious. The Lord is victorious. Really? It's unbelievable. The walls just came down. Wow. Just like that. Unbelievable. Amazing. Now this land is ours to live in because God has promised it. We are victorious. And I have also asked all the people, which God will they serve? Will they serve all the pagan gods of this land? Or will they serve the Lord? I told them, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Well, thank you, Joshua, for that amazing interview and spending time with us and your very busy schedule, which we can see. So um, thank you, and we really appreciate you joining us today. Right, so there you have it, boys and girls. Always be strong and courageous in the Lord. Always trust in him and always obey everything that he commands. And he will give you what he has promised, just like he has us, this land. Now, onward to victory! Yeah! Yeah, oh, he's off, he's off. Yes. Bye. Bye, bye, Josh. Oh, wow. Unbelievable. Amazing. Be strong and courageous. Well, I'm inspired, I don't know about you. Oh, I can feel the muscles growing already. Yes, yes, well, you know. Oh, wonderful. Oh, I do believe it's game time again. Game yes. time! I'm supporting my favourite team, Team Jabez, the only team that there is. Um, I think it is actually Team Tammy. Well, I think the plotter would have something to say about this. Oh no, no. Do you remember what it did to us last time? Oh, it's okay, it's okay. It was a little bit faulty. I took it down to Andy Blow down the road. But, I do believe the winner will be... I'm hearing that actually it isn't Tammy and Jabers this week, we have a newcomer. Um, in the game field we have... Oh, Jess. Oh, I guess we have some new doing games today. Take it away, Jess. Hey, kids, kids. So it's that time of the week again. It's game time. And this week I've got a special guest. I've got my sister Melanie helping me out. Hello. So this week we're going to play a game called Flamingo Ball. Now, you may have heard the game Flamingo when we've done it before in City Kids. 
as you know, you have to act like a flamingo, and the first one to fall over loses the game. But this is a little bit different, so it's called flamingo ball. So what I want you to do is still act like a flamingo, but have one arm behind your back, and you've got to be throwing the ball and catching it with one hand, and you've still got to be standing on one leg. But the first person to drop the ball, or to fall over on the other leg, loses the game. So we're going to time it and see how we get on. They're so encouraging, guys. They're good leaders. So I'm going to put them up here and then they can watch me, can't you? Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to do that now. Jane, you can sit there. That's a good spot. And Vicky, you can sit there because that's a good spot. Or you drop your craft there. Okay, so there they are. They're watching us. So to make this craft, you just need three things, really. You must have these in your house, I think. So, first of all, you need to have some card. I've chosen orange card because I love orange. I love oranges and I just love orange. Um, so basically, and some scissors. But remember, what are they? Dangerous. So be careful with that. So you might need your adult to help you if you're very, very little. And, and then we just need a pen. All right, that's all you need, really. So basically, what you do is you get your card and you fold it like a birthday card like this. It's nearly my birthday, I'm really excited about it. I've asked for a really cool skateboard, um, just like my brother's. And then basically, you have your card like this, and then 
you fold this piece of paper card back on itself like this, like that. And then the other side you do as well, like this. So basically, when you open it up, it's a bit like a caterpillar. It's really, really cool. And then what we can do is, to make it easier for you to do as well, is we just draw our person. But you need to start with this flap here and on your right. Like, like this, because that won't work otherwise, they won't be holding hands. So basically, we could draw our man so we could just do his, his legs like that. Because he's standing like this, he's very, very tall. And then he does his, his trousers like this, can you see? And then we have to do his torso. That's your, your tummy area. Like this. And then he does his hands, his arms and his head. Like that, he's a funny guy. He's a fun guy. <laughs> okay, so basically, then what we do is we just cut him out. So you just cut along your line like this. Like this. If you just cut all around your line, then you'll get a really funny man. I'm calling him Joshua because that's who he is. Joshua's a really good name. If you're called Joshua, give yourself a high five. It's a really, really good name. And then basically, you cut him out like this, really like, like that, and, you, and then basically, you open them out, and then it's really, really cool, because they're holding hands, and then Joshua's gonna lead them. So, of course, every good person needs a face. So, we basically have a, a line of people, and then we can just draw um, a face like that. He's really, really happy, because they, they're going to get victory like that. This one's a bit hungry and he wants to wait for lunch. So we're just gonna, but they're going anyway because Joshua's leading them and there. And you can draw all the army gear on them, you know, all the really cool stuff. And there you go. So Jamie and Vicky, here you can have another one. So Jamie and Vicky, how did you think that went? Oh, I think it was really, really good. Oh, you're so talented. I know, Jamie and Vicky, I know I am. Thank you for saying that. So, are you going to have a go at this at home? Yes, I think it's a marvellous thing to give to my friends. Oh, I think it's a marvellous thing as well to give to my friends. Yeah, I think it's a really good gift to remind them that we all can be good leaders, like you two as well, because you're good leaders, because you're kind, and you tell us what to do in God, and we listen to you, and you're really kind. Thank you for saying that. Yeah, thank you. No problem. Um, shall we now go? Because um, I want to um, go and have my lunch, and um, I think we should play for the leader. That's really good. Yeah, it's really good. Do you want to go first, Jamie? Oh, yes, please. Yeah, brilliant. So we're going to go now and we're going to play follow my leader. Um, just quickly as well, I'm a really good leader because I, I do lead my dog sometimes to the park and he always keeps safe and he's a lovely dog. So I'm a really good leader. But I'm going to go now. Are you, are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, yes. Okay. Okay, bye, everybody. Bye. Follow my leader, leader, leader. Follow my leader. Follow my leader, 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 follow my leader. Follow my leader, 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 follow my leader. Bye, bye, bye. Ah, wonderful and wacky as ever. Good to see the leaders though, the pastors of this church. Ah, oh, yeah. yeah. That Jamie, his, his head's a little bit bigger. The screen is a little you know, bit unusual. More brain in there. Yeah, exactly. So, what's next? Join us after this worship break. Have fun worshiping, kids. Running after 
it's running after me All your life you have been faithful And all my life you have been so, so good With every breath that I am able I will sing of the goodness of God was that That's hearing so about Joshua today he is one of my favorite leaders in the Bible yeah. and we're gonna pray right now about how we can be strong leaders like Joshua let's pray God we thank you for all that we have learned today and we thank you that you would help us all to have courage just like yeah. Joshua that even when we're feeling nervous or when we feel like we don't have very much courage we pray that you would help us to have courage in you that we would have you would help us to be obedient to what you say yeah. and whenever we're at school or at home or with our friends we just thank you that you would help us to have such faith in you because yes. you are God and you will help us in every situation and so we thank you for that today amen amen we amen. love you so much have a lovely yes. day ah what an episode inspiring amazing so, yes yeah. what's that noise Oh, it's okay. It's just Joshua and his warriors. Oh. We'll be fine. Yeah. You, you did tie that red yes. rope around our door so that um, they know that we are God's people. Yes, we did. Just like me, last time. Great. We'll be safe. Yes. This red rope. Yes, this. Oh no! Uh, Let's go! Uh, I'm Dandy Vine and this I'm is Sandy Shaw. CKTV News Dubai. God has made us perfect, we can go and do his works Doing all the things he planned way before we walk this land There's more to me than what you see, I am my father's masterpiece Ephesians 2 verse 10 says it so I say amen for God has made us perfect, we can go and do his works Doing all the things he planned way before we walk this land There's more to me than what you see, I am my father's masterpiece Ephesians 2 verse 10 says it so I say amen 